Hi, my name is Joseph from Maryland. Uh, my question is, is it more faithful to the Bible to be vegan since Adam and Eve ate fruit? And I know the Old Testament condemns eating pork, so is it more faithful to be vegan? Thank you. Thanks, Joseph. David? Well, sometimes it helps to be clear. Uh, no, is the answer. <laughs> it's not more faithful. Uh, I mean, Joseph, I understand where you're coming from, and I think, again, it is important to ask questions about what we eat and we put into our bodies. But I always, I, in the book at least, I, I, I refer to St. Paul in uh, Corinthians, who tells those who are really worried about eating the wrong kind of meat, it, the meat that had been sacrificed to, to uh, you know, to pagan gods. They were worried that if they would be somehow spiritually compromised or less faithful if they ate it. And he says point blank, food will not bring us closer to God. You are no worse off if you eat it and no better if you do. It's, um, it's a radical rebuke to those of us who would try to find our uh, righteousness uh, or our purity in the kind of food we eat. Again, it's not an invitation to um, just, you know, hit the buffet at the Golden Corral or something, <laughs> although there's nothing <laughs> that, that, that might, maybe it is, I don't know. I would say, though, that uh, I would not get into the business of litigating people's dietary habits, just full, full, full bore. That's missing the point there of, of the Apostle Paul, right? <laughs> it's not whether we eat or drink, but the kingdom of God is, what did he say? Righteousness and something else. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it, joy and peace in the Holy Spirit. I think. Can you? Yeah. <coughs> Just interrupt me. Yeah, yeah, but the kingdom of God is righteousness and joy and peace in the Holy Spirit. Yeah, it's um, I always find it's it's it kind of directly answers that question. 